Good morning, Philippines, and welcome to week 32 of our reconstruction renovation of our townhouse here in Tanamban, Cebu, Philippines. So, week 32, we started some of the finishing work on the ceilings, which you'll get to see in a minute. And before we go anywhere, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and please I appreciate your input in the comment section below week um, we ended up not getting the property up in uh, San Remigio too many uh, encumbrances but looking here at the wall you can see the guys installed some rebar up here so it'll hang a skirt over the top of the lights that'll create an effect we hope to make it look classic you know they've just fired up these the scaffold here in the course of a couple of hours and they're off and running to deal with that moving everything outside out of the way um, they've got a lot of the uh, reinforcements for the ceilings um, put in and the guys are working over in the corner there we'll take a look a little in a little bit that's going to be the new uh, revised bathroom laundry room it'll be in the back corner out of the way and they just put this wall up here uh, the concrete still wet and they parged the face of the new wall they put in so yeah you can see all the skeleton of the ceiling ready to be put in play and we just started to get some of the vinyl strips to put up um, and I'll show you that in just a little bit but uh, yeah the, there'll be lights hanging down there and cupboards along that wall so we head up the stairs and they've filled in this end of the stairwell rounding it out so that We've got a couple of shelves that we can put some kind of sculpture or icon or knick-knack as you come upstairs or maybe that extra roll of toilet paper you meant to drop off in the, in the bathroom. But yeah, coming through here, there's the master bedroom. The ceiling framework is up, but we're going to do an adjustment because of the size of the... Um, the strips for the ceiling I'll talk about that in a minute but coming through here you can see mother's walk-in closet it's just about ready it's got to fill that hole in um, dressing the walls up so we'll back out of there and this will have a sliding barn type door over the face of it and then you've got the three windows to let the light in and again the windows up the top of the main door sliding patio door so coming into the bathroom here voila you can see the ceiling in place so these uh, strips they're quite long they're 290 centimeters long and the reason we're using this as opposed to uh, the standard uh, drip rock drywall that they got here the masonry board is that uh, I found that with the humidity, it doesn't hold up as well as this might. And being that they're plastic, they're going to stick together a long time and not porous or chalky uh, that can absorb the water. You can see here the size of it. There's 10 pieces in a pack, 290 by 27 by 8 centimeters. And their cellular structure, you can see there so that there's some insulative qualities to it 
and these things interlock one into the other when they're up there in the ceiling and it looks pretty good in my view what do you think please uh, make a comment in the comment section have you ever had any experience with this type of ceiling before this is new to me but i'm i'm uh, happy to try it because i was not happy with uh, the droopy ceilings that come with uh, the humidity that comes from air conditioning so this is Bo's room and it's ready to go as well they've uh, put his uh, uh, ceiling framework in there and we can walk through the uh, outside balcony we'll be putting some flower boxes along that outer edge and the guys have been preparing the masonry for a stainless steel top rail that's going on here uh, probably sometime next week and uh, coming through here you can see and up here uh, we're going to put a wrap around uh, edging around like that only a little bit bigger um, that'll allow for the full length of the vinyl strips to be used and the floor we'll get to that later once all the mess is out of the way but um, the stainless steel tank is ready to go upstairs and let's take a look at what they've done up here they've <clears throat> already rounded out the stairwell here in rough form it'll be finished off later and started some of the walls uh, working around the scaffolding they want to leave the scaffolding in place for some support until monday anyway so for next week but this should all be gone and maybe next week we'll do a broadcast from here um there's the central column and this will be where the sliding doors are and then that's the wall uh, facing south with an open window for some light and that back corner will be a uh, stairwell spiral stairwell <clears throat> that will rise up in the corner there to the upper floor if you look up you can see the opening where it will come out on the other end and if we come around i'll show you what it looks like up top but we have to weave our way through this maze of scaffolding first there'll be a window over there in the corner and yeah sliding glass doors here so this is the third and final floor um got a lot of leftover wood so looking at the spiral staircase opening going from the top side and looking up or looking down at it here's the roof so there'll be a tower built over the top of this for the rain and you'll be able to catch come up here and catch the view on a moon filled night or maybe just watch the lightning storms that happen here in the hills you know southeast asia is one of the most concentrated areas for uh, lightning storms and you can virtually see them in the rainy season every night coming over that side where the sun is setting so yeah that's the view and here's the slab um, this will be the opening where the skylight goes once that's taken apart they'll build a little uh, footing around the edge of it so that the water drains away and looking down into our spiral staircase opening you can step out here and when that orange type is gone um, catch a bit of the view well you can still see it over the top of it but um, that's looking south towards Mactan and uh, the tarp is there because of distractions from the neighbors so that keeps them out of the way and the framework is ready for the solar panels and we may delay that portion of the work until after construction is complete so yeah enjoy the sunset we'll head back down now after one last look around uh, the roof and um, the surrounding mountains so 
So down we go. And here we are, back on the third floor, heading down the staircase. So you can see it'll be rounded out there. I think one last week. So these walls were put up this week. And there's more coming. But the scaffolding's in the way, obviously. So let's head to, back downstairs. And uh, what else did I want to talk to you about? This is a new experience for me working in the Philippines in construction. Uh, learning an awful lot. Uh, in all areas, not just in the design and uh, structural phase of it, but also some of the legalities as to what you can and can't do and what you can get away with or can't get away with. We're Remember, we're uh, building this in Cebu and are constrained to some building codes and uh, restrictions. But looking back here, here's where the washroom's going to be. Uh, turn the light on the camera so you can take a look because it's pretty dark without um, there we go so that's the old bathroom wall and this is the new stuff that they've just parged that's where the shower will be in the corner there and that'll be where the toilet goes there'll be a little divider there and then there'll be a sink where they're finishing the wall off there and the washing machine will be tucked in behind this little opening. So as the cement uh, sets and cures, it'll take until next Monday. We're focusing on the second floor for some of the finishing work. You can see not much has happened down here in the last little bit. The stove was got delivered, but uh, the guys are focusing on what they can do on the second floor undercover. And to date, we've spent about uh, close to 3 million pesos. The budget's 4 million. We've got another 302,000 pesos coming in for air conditioning. That'll be for the whole house. And another 300,000 for uh, uh, the stainless steel works, including the top rail for that uh, second floor railing, the spiral staircase, and the railing for the staircase uh, top to bottom as well as the finishing fence on the perimeter of the third floor uh, penthouse so that's about it for now don't forget to join us next week as we try to wrap this up before Christmas and uh, like my son likes to say don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for watching have a great day everyone